Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate scrape users on Twitter using Socinator. This is helpful if you want to scrape targeted users according to your needs and preferences. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to the Scrape Users tab because we want to scrape users. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to scrape a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in a process. There are several configuration categories for Scrape Users activity. Let's start with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to scrape. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or import from CSVR text file by clicking this button. Then select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click Add Queries to the List button and it will be added in our Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's type foodies, for example. Click Add. Socinator will use this query to search related profiles. Next is hashtags. If you want to target users using hashtag dogs, click Add. And it will scrape users who use this hashtag in their tweets. For location users, the format is keyword colon city colon country colon distance. Let's say the keyword is games colon city is Tokyo colon country is Japan colon distance is 15 for example. Click add. So this will target users who use these location specifications. For near my location, you can use keywords only. Let's say you want to target dogs. Click add. So this will target tweets containing that keyword near your location. Next is custom users list. We need a specific username. So let's say Elon Musk. Click add. So this will target Elon Musk. For someone's followers, let's use Elon Musk again. Click add. So this time it will target Elon Musk's followers. Someone's following still with Elon Musk. Click add. So it will target the users Elon Musk is following instead. For followers of someone's followings, Elon Musk again. Click add. So it will target the followers of the users Elon Musk is following. For followers of someone's followers, add Elon Musk. So this will target the followers of Elon Musk's followers and scrape them. For users who like tweet, we need a specific tweet URL. Let's say this particular tweet. Copy the link of the tweet and paste it in the query box in Socinator. Click Add. So users who like that tweet will be scraped. For users who commented on tweet, let's use the same tweet URL. Click Add. So this time it will target the users who commented on that specific tweet and users who retweeted tweet, same tweet URL, click add. So it will target the users who retweeted that specific tweet. Finally, we have user scraper campaign. So you can copy the campaign ID from the user scraper campaigns you have created through Socinator. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say keywords and it's gone. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape the users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 22, medium with 50, fast with 75, or super fast with 107. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. 
delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Twitter user is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of users is set in number of scraped users per job. Number of scrape users per job will allow you to specify the number of Twitter users you want to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max scrape user per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click Add, Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Twitter Scrape Users. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Twitter Scrape Users. The next tool is user filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to scrape on Twitter. The first one allows you to target English speaking users. The second one allows you to specify the minimum number of tweets of the user. Next, you can specify the minimum and maximum numbers of the followers and the followings of the users you want to scrape. Speaking of followers and followings, we also have follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input the follow ratio greater than or smaller than a specific number. You can also specify the minimum number of characters in the user bio. Speaking of user bio, you can specify the words that should not be in the user bio, username or name by clicking this box. Now let's say politics or government in their user bio, username or name. Type in this area. You may edit or delete using the clear all button over here and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button and choosing the right file. Click open and it's uploaded successfully. Click save when you're done. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. So words that should be in the user bio, username or name. So let's say you want to scrape users who are into pets, cats, dogs, for example. Type in this area, separate each word by a comma. You may edit or delete this in the clear all button. You may also import a CSV or text file by clicking this button and click save and you're done. The next one will allow you to specify how active the user is. So user tweeted within the last, let's say, one day. Next is user is not following this account if you want to skip followers. Next is if you want the user to have a profile image. And finally, you may skip private users, muted users, and filter user based on verification. You have the option to skip either verified users or those who are not verified. Finally, the last configuration category is Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want Socinator to interact with. So check this box if you want to skip them. This can be a private blacklist, which is actually a blacklist that belongs to a specific Twitter account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping users on Twitter, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, click the status button to make it active. You may view the list of users you scrape by clicking the Reports button over here. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating scrape users on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Twitter. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's go to the scraper tab and select scrape users on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Twitter user scraper. For the search query, let's target users who use this hashtag, hashtag dogs for example and click add. For job configuration, an average daily activity of so 22 should be okay, so let's select slow. For user filters, let's target English speaking users. 
users with profile image and skip private users as well as blacklisted users when you're ready click the blue button select account or accounts in this part we can select multiple twitter accounts since we only have one account right now let's go with that by checking the box and click save after saving let's click the red button create campaign if you want to proceed check the box of the account and click the save button and this will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where we can see that we have successfully created our twitter user scraper campaign click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit duplicate or delete the campaign you may also click the report button over here to view the list of users you have scraped and that's it for this tutorial I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.